picking up good vibrations. She's giving me the excitations. I'm backing up good vibrations. She's giving me the excitations. the Bay, I've been working with them for many years now, and I just think they're an incredible organization that I'm proud to be part of. We're proud to have you here as well, adorning our blue carpet, not I a green carpet. Blue carpet. This is this is my these are my peeps here. With your Jimmy shoes and your peeps. Yeah, exactly. And you said you were from LA. Mm -hmm. Do you go to the beach a lot? Um, sometimes I do. I definitely love the beach, and I I love keeping it clean. We're here with Lisa Boyle at Bring Back the Beach event, Heal the Bay. And now you're a board member. Tell me what uh, you do exactly as a board member. Well, one thing we do as board members is uh, encourage our friends to come join us at this annual event, the Bring Back the Beach Gala, where we are celebrating all the accomplishments of the year that uh, Heal the Bay has accomplished. And we're honoring some of the, the most powerful protectors of the ocean. Nice. So Nautilus, um, who else? Amy Smart, uh, <laughs> Joey Louise uh, Dreyfus. Um, King Triton. <laughs> We're here at Heal the Bay, bring back the beach with? I'm Sharon Lawrence and I am a board member of Heal the Bay. Not only am I an actress, actress and uh, environmental activist, I was the spokesperson for PADI, which is the Professional Association of Dive Instructors. I fell in love with the ocean and brought my friend Abigail to uh, celebrate tonight. Well, tell us about Heal the Bay and their event tonight. What's going on? What we are celebrating is years and years of advocacy to protect the oceans, whether it's in stormwater, drains for runoff, or our big push now, which is our plastic bag ban. That is what makes the difference in, uh, in the oceans now, is getting rid of plastics. Of course, uh, temperatures rising is a big deal, too, and that's how I first got uh, involved with uh, environmental aspects of the ocean, because I could tell um, just from the dead coral what a, what a challenge we have in, in front Being of Being a diver. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, all the markets here in Santa Monica are bag-free, plastic bag-free, yes? Right. Right, yes they are. But not in L.A.? Not in L.A. We've got a vote coming up soon and we're going to be um, lobbying City Hall on May 23rd. Hey, I'm Rochelle Lefebvre. You're watching Green Tea with Tamara. Bring back the beach with David. Go. How are you guys? We're doing good, man. How are you? Great, great, great. What brings you down today? Well, I've been uh, supporting this for a long time. You know, we, uh, we had a show on the beach once in a... One, one long time ago, and uh, I live in Malibu also, so for me it's really important to make sure that the oceans are clean. They've been around for such a long time, and they've contributed so much and done so much for the ocean, and for me that's, that's why I believe in them. Plus you're right on the ocean and you get to see the results. I get to see the results. I, believe it or not, the ocean is cleaner today than it was 10 years ago. Awesome. And I've seen that too. I get the report card. Yeah, yeah, me too. Now you are on the board of Heal the Bay, yes? Yes. Okay. And what's happening right now with Heal the Bay? What's your main Well, our main, go our main goal tonight is plastic to raise bags. Uh, plastic bags, of course, uh, eliminating, getting single-use plastic bag bill initiative going, and also just uh, cleaning up uh, the Santa Monica Bay. That's what we're here about, and tonight we're raising funds for Heal the Bay. Do you see progress? Yes, I do. All That's the awesome. We're here on the blue carpet with Rochelle Lefebvre. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. What brings you out tonight? Uh, I am here in support of my very good friend, friend uh, Amy Smart, who's being honored today. Wow, yeah. lucky you. Mm -hmm. She's been working with Heal the Bay for uh, at least a decade, probably probably more. Um, and she so threw the fish. Yeah. We all are. And we, she threw the fishing net, caught, captured you, and, and reeled you in. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. She, uh, she was the first person in L.A. to really successfully uh, reel me into all of California's environmental causes. So. And you notice, we decided to be cool, we have the sunglasses on. Because I know. The sun just came out, so we're celebrating. It's, you know, it's, it's cool, but it's built of necessity, right? It's, we gotta do it, it's in the contract. <laughs> exactly. We'll have a great time. And do you have Thank other you. experience with Heal the Bay? Uh, I don't, actually. I mean, I've been hearing about them um, through Amy for many, many years, but I've been working a lot with Emma, the Environmental Media Association, and Environment California, and they work in tandem with Heal the Bay on a lot of projects. So I've been working with them indirectly. So she's going to be schooled at Heal the Bay. Ah, that's very punny. We come on in this loop, John B. My grandfather and me. Around Nassau town. The reason I'm down here is because Heal the Bay is doing some phenomenal things and they, like they have been for the last 25 years. And uh, I feel proud to have known them 
you know, for as long as I have, and we're just trying to bring some notoriety to them, and we're all getting pulled in different directions these days. Everyone wants a little money here or some effort there, and Heal the Bay is a good place to put that energy. We're here with Suja, who is uh, on the board of Heal the Bay, and the vice mayor of the city of Long Beach. Get over here, let people see your beautiful eyes. Thank you. What brings you down today? I love this event. This, this is our way of showing how much we support everything that the Heal the Bay does for our coast. If it wasn't for Heal the Bay, I don't think we'd have the quality of, of beach that we do here in California. They are the preeminent environmental organization that really stands behind environmental quality for beaches. The beaches are a public asset. It is the last remaining public asset that's so valuable. And we have to be able to protect it for the generations that we'd like to leave it to. And Heal the Bay really um, does that, does that well. And I, as a vice mayor in a coastal city, a resident of a coastal city, it's really meaningful to me. Good for you. Now, therefore, they're facing quite a, a tsunami, if you will, with this radiated um, stuff coming up from Japan. Are, are they concerned about that? You know, I do, we're all concerned about that, and that just goes to prove that there are no geographic boundaries or political boundaries to the world's coastlines. So what happens thousands of miles away affects our home front. And that's why a collective global effort is so meaningful, because it, it just proves, unfortunately, with that tragedy, we have that proof that there are no boundaries. So we have to be equally concerned about the coast of India, the coast of Sri Lanka, as we are here. with Peter Fonda, easy riding on the blue carpet. What's up with that? Uh, there's so much that we have to do. There's, it's almost an impossible task, but we must not accept the fact that it's impossible and just let it all go. It seems like we are. We're up against a tremendous battle with the plastic in the ocean, yes? Oh yeah, absolutely. And I heard you say you were living on a boat. Yeah. And you see it floating around out there? Yeah, it's or what? all around. And it's in the fish we eat and the, the fish that they eat and so forth. It's all being consumed. Shrimp are eating plastic that's the uh, gyre in North Pacific, it's the size of Texas. Now the plastic sinks and goes down to the bottom with the no, bottom, no? no, no, uh, no. no? It, it lasts a long time. And if it breaks down, it breaks down to little bitty things. And that's exactly what the shrimp think is food for them to eat. Right. So we ingest it too through the fish. Absolutely. So we have petroleum products in us. Um, well, I've got titanium, stainless steel, and that's it. <laughs> Peter Fonda, the million dollar man on the blue carpet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Todd. It looks like the beach girls have arrived here on the blue carpet. What's up? What's your name? I'm Charlotte. This is Charlotte. I'm Megan. I'm Rose. Grace. Mom. You're the Beach Girls, right? We've been waiting for you. You got your guitars, your, uh, your amps, because they're playing without you right now. Are you watching Green Tea with Tamara? If not, oh, watch out for Italians. He's going to take the chopper and find your ass. <laughs> right. Thanks, John.